<laughs> hello, hello, and welcome to the last door. Okay, let's uh, start. Episode 1, the, the letter. You guys want me to read? After all the things I have seen. Okay. We got a rope here. So you move like this by clicking, right? It's a little bit of a tutorial. After all the things I have done. I cannot escape the curse my life has taken. Now I'm beyond redemption. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beachworth. Oh, I know the the captions are a bit distracting. I'm gonna remove them. Beachworth. Uh, this soundtrack is oh. Hi, David. Welcome. Thank you for. Stop by. This is the composer. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to read on a dramatic voice. This is a hyper immersive game with all these realistic graphics. It's a banger. <laughs> what an intro. October 1891. Evidet ni kisiat. Is that Latin? That was all my childhood friend, Anthony Betchworth. Had written in his letter. It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. But we had left it all behind like mere childhood memories. That letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. And there was the old house of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Manor. This is so alone that I won. No? Episode 1 The Letter. So you have to move with the mouse. You don't use WSD. So I'm just. This hand is chilling, you know? This is strange. Everything is silent. As if there was no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Bro, this game with a proper narrator would be dope. Because it's this game is pure thriller and they have some intense moments. This this game is literally a grandfather clock. It is the only sound around here. A note on the table. Dear Mr. 
a beach worth. Due to recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us. And much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. So I'm guessing those are like the Mayor Domo of the, man of the mansion with the banner. Is this Anthony? The years have not been kind to him. Okay, let's explore a little, shall we? Is that a gramophone? A machine that plays recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast for new inventions. I think a recording of sound or music can be played if an engraved cylinder or disc is inserted, but I see no such object in this device. A cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There is also a matchbox. Take it. So you have to inspect with the... What is that thing go? You guys know, the lens. Magnifier lens, magnifying glass, whatever, nothing. <laughs> You have to inspect it at first, see what is around there, and then if you see the, the hand icon, that means you can grab something, right? So. These matches could be com cool coming useful. Joik? So now we have our own inventory in the bottom. Open the door. Wait, before we go there, check everything. In this game, you have to be very meticulous. Okay? A fireplace. It looks like it has not been cleaned in a long time. The large window is wide open, letting the cold dust air in. Okay. Let's go here. A corridor. A seascape. There is a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. What do you think about this kind of game, sweet? Point and click, pixel. I know it's very niche, but this game is really good. Like the writing, the story, the music, like it's scary as well. I don't know. It has a lot of very good elements. A variety of herbs and ingredients. So maybe I check it now and I cannot find something, but maybe later on when we solve some puzzle or something, maybe we have to come back here and check it again to see if there is anything of interest the second time. I'm not sure actually. But it may be. So let's keep open all the possibilities. The kitchen stove. And a cleaning cloth. Oh, can we take something? It might come in handy. I'll take it. So we can do it. Okay, all cloth, just in case. One and click, I enjoy. And pixelity is cool. Okay. Huh? I especially, I all say younger generations. Yeah, we have become a very graphics, uh, graphic horse, you can say. Plates and pants. So. Play with some days old leftovers. Eat it! <clears throat> what is this? Dead. Is that called dispensary? I have unlatched the door. Huh? It was locked from the other side, so. What the fuck is that? Crows? Are they eating something? A murder of crows is eating eagerly. There is so many birds that I cannot see their prey from here. <coughs> Those crows are too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Oh, well, maybe we have to do something to a garbage bin. Judging by the fall order, I'll say it has not been emptied in a fortnight. Well, that's like, like a long time, huh? Oh, this is the... Okay. So this is like a back door. Oh, right, cool. So we need to do something for the lens. Oh, okay. We need to give something to the crows. I don't have anything yet, so let's let's explore the other rooms. Burn them with matches. A rainy mountain landscape. This is a woman. This portrait is crooked. Oh, it's like broken, no? Here. 
This painting depicts a deep, dark forest. This game is fun to play with chat because it's like a collective intelligence solving puzzle. Usually I don't allow backseating, but hey. Hey. Small plan brings some life to this place. I love the descriptions, man. It's like Rambo, you know? A wash basin and some toilet, 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 something. A lamp to light the way. Tax say no back city. I shall, so I shall know. If I ask for help, it's fine, you know. I sure if you go to a guy and tell me, hey, you have to do this here, bro. I'm inviting you. But if I'm stuck for like 10, 5 minutes, 5, 10 minutes, then yeah. there is nothing of interest in these drawers. Uh, we need to reach the lamp. We need to get that lamp. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. May 18th. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. All a simple cat do to him. He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Mr. Anthony. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I am really worried. I, I, what I love about these graphic novels or like these story games, like you, you're like depicting the story in your head, and you, yeah, it's so cool. It's like half a book, half a game, you know? I'm anti bowl, like the ones used to feed pets. So this is the room where the service was there, no? And the window is so dirty that I can barely see through the outside. There is a discoloration on the wall in the shape of a cross. Uh, as if one had hung there for many years and been recently removed. Oh, we can take the lamp. Nice, we got a lamp. So now maybe there is a... We need to remember this. Maybe we have to watch something. Old cloth. There is a tiny dark hole in the wall. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm, I clicked that by accident, by the way. I was trying to drag this. Okay, so you kind of use it there. There's a hole there. What do I do with that? Can I see inside? Hmm, we, we have to keep that in mind, guys. There's gonna be some... Why is the fog like that? This door is locked. I should try and find the key to open it. I don't think I can do anything else here. Let's go back. Let's go upstairs. Oh. Oh, she. This door is stuck. It won't open. Ah, I combined the lamp with the matches, and now we have light. Nice. Otherwise, I don't think he will go into the dark. Oh, shit. That is not a good sign. I board the door. This door... Uh, this door we have been boarded up. Sound effects are so good, no? So that's open. What about this one? That's closed. It's locked from the inside. Okay. So some doors you have to find keys. Other doors are locked forever. Others you have to lock from the other side. This seems uh, like Anthony's uh, bedroom, no? A silver key. Grab it, man. <laughs> you have to click it twice, no? A double bed. 
from the accumulated dust, I will guess it has not been slept in for a very long time. Fine place is black with soot. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. It's not saying it's even Anthony, maybe it's someone else. This window leads to a balcony chair with the adjacent rooms. Oh! Maybe I can go to that room that was closed from the other side, from the balcony. Small photographs and old daguerreotypes, mostly family portraits. Dig? What, what is that? I never heard that word before. Is the music a bit loud, guys? I can't hold up and latch. It is stuck. Perhaps I could do so with using a small tool. Hmm. Small tool. Oh, they're firmly nailed down. I cannot remove them with my bare hands. We got the key. Uh, let's try. This was this was locked door locked forever, no? Now this that door's stuck. I don't think we can ever open that. I think the silver key is gonna be for this door, no? Let's try. Please work. Ah, oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. What the? Basement? Basement? What is that? I think this is late, this rec record. The sleeve reads the Carnival of Venice. You get up. So we got a record. Huh. Are you guys scared? What is that? Like a crowbar or something? Slide and rest iron crowbar. Nice. So maybe we can uh, remove the, the the planks with this small part of Fargo, tweaks and chunks of dry bark. This is like a furnace or like an oven or something. The boiler looks like it's been uh, out of use for a long time. So, how long? I guess they were living here, but they, they were not really like. Using the, the places. This guy was... Anthony was out of his mind, no? Does that have to do anything with the... That cold thing they were talking about? The, their days at the university. Alright, what should we do first, guys? Play the... Play the music? Or... Use the crowbar? I think we should play the music, no? Let's try this. The music has abruptly stopped. What happened? Oh! The crows like this. Uh, I don't want to move. You leave. Uh, uh, guys? Guys? Are we good? Guys, are we good? Okay, are they still there? They're still there. <laughs> okay, good to know. Alright, so that means the crows are not anymore where they were eating, no? Oh, there you go. What is this? A dying crow. No, not much life left in it. Why do you, you pick that up? Yo, the music in this game is so good. Why will we want to use a death crow? The heck? I don't want to go through there again. Sorry. I'm going around. Okay. Okay, let's use this. I feel like the music's still loud, guys. Okay. My God, what has happened here? 
It says, leave me alone. Wait, there's a freaking person here. This is the woman from the painting? The poor crow, yeah. The lifeless body of a woman. It has been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. The crow is making noises. Is he dead? No. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I do not know what kind of what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I do not know what, sh uh, what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest that now dwells in our souls. I do not know where is, what is it from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I'll meet my brother and sister soon. I'll be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I'll stop trembling. What a note. She dropped something, no? A long air pin. Maybe we can use this to unlock the uh, latch thing in the window. There's something on the ground, huh? What is that? Another letter. Dear Margaret, he has been there since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed and not even the doctor will come here after his argument with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Beechworth. Oh. An all wheelchair. Right in the way, raise leave me alone. Who have written such a thing? Nothing of interest on this dressing table. A letter in a fribble handwriting. I cannot go on. All is lost. Is that diary page? I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. But who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. Was that the sister or was that Anthony? That they were not worthy for the family. I'm not sure. Maybe it was the it was Margaret. Is that like this is portraits of the family? Young Anthony. Just like I remember him. A one of strong features and dark hair. She has a bold look in her eyes. She looks like the woman on the bed. She's holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? <gasps> This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his content countenance is marred by severe and settling gaze. Maybe this is the father, no? This young woman, not yet in her 20s, stares def defiantly back at me. So this must be Anna. Man with blonde hair, I feel as if I have seen him before. Could this be the child? I don't know. A portrait of Anthony standing beside a mountain wildcat or lynx. The paint looks fresher around the animal's head. What? That will just smear the fresh paint. That's why I'm using it. What is that noise? Click, click, click. There's a big raven perch outside the window, tapping on the glass with his beak. Oh, that's what it's... What? That's up. <laughs> what do I do? This painting is upside down. I don't check it. Let's go to the balcony. We're starting to get more and more information now. What's going on here? We're st we still don't know that much. Is there a pin I've managed to spring the latch with ease? There you go. 
like a laboratory, no? A lynx, mounted and stuffed. This is a fine work of taxidermy. So turn out dirty pages. They will not bother me anymore. I am done with their sensory cases. Their whispers. It is already. There is only one thing left to do. A common hammer in good condition. Ah, so we got a hammer now. Kill the but really crow. Put it out of this measure. Wait, did I actually? Oh, I did. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Better serve silent and the poorest bird suffering. Hey, that's good. I put an end to the poorest creature suffering. Pro <laughs> nice. Hey. Sorry. Rest in peace. A few press cuttings pine to the pit of the wall. They illustrated London News 1887. Judge kills himself under strange circumstances. Is this related to Anthony? The Daily Telegraph, 1888. Earl found death floating in the Ta Thames, the river, no? The Thomas? Times 89. Famous actor found bled to death in his hotel room. Why will he have these newspaper articles hanging there with all these dead people? Isn't that weird? Some sort of spilled chemical product. It smells strongly of vinegar. Remains of chemical experiments. What is this guy doing? A can of paint thinner. A can. So we open that on the other side. There is also a trapdoor. On top of the ladder, there is a trapdoor with a keyhole reinforced with gold. Reinforced with gold? Cow? Hmm. Means we have to break it or find the key, no? One of the two. Some strange books written in a language unknown to me. A map of the region of Sussex with markings drawn on its surface. Okay. What can we do, guys? What could we do? We have a hammer, a can. What if we use this on the painting? I gotta pour the third directly into the canvas. Okay, so we're kind of getting close. We'll remove every layer of the paint. The fresh image as well as the whatever original lay beneath. Oh, so there's like two paintings on top of each other, no? And we have to remove the all it maybe we mix this and this and we use the cloth like carefully. I damped the cloth with paint thinner. There you go, there you go. There you go. Wet cloth. Okay, progress. Not every time I'm gonna solve the puzzle this week, okay? This I have been stuck in some puzzle for like 10, 20 half an hour, literally, so. I'm just telling you in advance. Especially this first chapter is kind of like an introduction, so it's like easy compared to what's coming later. So. The thinner has worked. The fresh paint is gone, and now I can see the original painting. The link's mouth is open as if uh, it were growling. But that's the hour restoration. That's another achievement. So we, do, do we need to feed the links? What do I do to it? Isn't very growling. I'm just trying every item. Okay, that's some progress, but uh, we still need to find more stuff to do. I wonder if the crows are still gonna be there, you know? Can I open this with this? No. Oh, let's go downstairs again. Crows? Oh, okay, yeah, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. I'll better leave it alone. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, was this curtain closed before? It's not a drone. Is there anything left here to do? Kitchen. Oh, I have an idea actually. It's not a wild idea, but what if we break the basin with the hammer? You know? No. Or break this hole? No? the crow there <laughs> what can we do guys wait what is this oh i can open the window why would i want to open the window to f to put food here maybe oh so now the raven that was upstairs is gonna come in through here and eat that what is going on I was lucky there. I'm just trying everything, honestly. This looks like the one in Anthony's portrait, so maybe the Lynx has something in his mouth. That makes sense. He's gonna have something inside his mouth, huh? Its mouth is shut, like it was before I revealed the original painting. Open it. With the hammer? I'll hate to damage this fine work of taxidermy. But I will do it anyways. No? Okay. Hmm. So I fix it one side, fix it the other side, put it straight, no? Okay. There's a rosary. An old rosary, a core of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. Joy? Okay, so now I believe this is for this. All right, so now the window is not gonna close. Now, how is that gonna help us? I think it has to be with a raven. Music? <laughs> Nothing different here. Maybe outside the house. Maybe something is different outside the house. This is still this is still all the same. Let's go outside. Let me drop something. Let's do open the link's mouth. We still haven't used the hammer, no? I wonder what that's for. I wonder if some puzzle is solved by just like not doing anything for like 10 20 seconds, you have to like stay still and then something happens to you. Sometimes some games do that, so I hear something in the distance. It sounds like a lament. And the game goes quiet. This is creepy. This is is that the crow I did left there? Or the cat? Where did the crow go? That sounds like the cat, no? Okay, wait, let's check downstairs. It's, the sound is louder down here. It 
cat seems to be behind this wall. Is that Poe reference? The black cat? A black cat is staring at me, but wait! Its eyes are missing. Oh, shoot! Good lord, it al almost ripped my eyes out. He has run away into the dark. Is there anything here? There is an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Rejoice! Join us! This knife could be useful. <laughs> nice. Nothing else useful there. What about the mask and the, the clothes? Oh, poor kitty. He was hungry, guys. Oh, that was cool. What, what do you what do you think about that puzzle, bit? Because you say like you won't believe it, so. Do you think that was unfair? I think that was good. I feel some puzzles are kind of like easy to let you progress, and then some of them are like no, no, now you're gonna, now you're gonna stop here for for a little bit. It's whatever. I just probably will have guessed it. Yeah, you, you have to check everything. That will check everything. All right, so probably with the knife we can open the link's mouth more delicately. I managed to get the link's mouth open. There is a golden key inside. Let's open this. Oh, God! No, I'm sorry. No. The lifeless body of my dear friend. What madness could have led him to commit such an act? There is something in his pocket. It is a seal, sealed letter. And he opens it. Dear J. David. If you are reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write to you in my last shreds of lucidity. You are one of my oldest friends. And when I send you the letter asking you to come here, I did not doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. The plot thickens. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I cannot give you any more details at this time. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all saw on our honor that sentence that will protect us. Was that the sentence, the Evita Teles in something something, Latin? This letter must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group, and George too, are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Sin is believing, the bit. Do not forget that. I think sin is believing is the Latin sentence, but in English. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. Oh, book. Oh, shit, the crows are hungry. Oh. What a. I guess you can say that's the prologue, like the first chapter. Hey, that was cool, no? The adventure continues in episode two. Father in heaven, hallowed by be your name. You're a priest? I like this interest, though. It's like you live the king, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Oh, we're, we're like dressing, no? Give us each day our daily bread. 
Oh, we're undressing. Oh. No. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive our debtors. Are you gonna flagellate yourself, mate? Oh! And lead us not into temptation. Oh! But deliver us from evil. Amen. Yeah, like, you see this? This intro with all the characters that you don't play, usually, right? And then you're like, where's... It's like, just like a little piece of the puzzle, you know? But trust me, by the end of the second game... Oh boy. It's gonna get so good. Violin is an insanely hard instrument to play, but it sounds so beautiful, no? Mind it! Good to see you. Welcome. Do you remember when I played this game? Now tell me. Where are you? What do you see? <gasps> Where the hell are we, mate? Who is it? Is it Anthony? Answer me! Start to me. I have full memories from when you played this game before. Me too. It's been seven years. What is she doing? Get close to her. Get close to Anna. Is it Anna like the younger sister of Anthony? Or does it have to do anything with Jeremiah? When I count to three, you will wake up. Or oh, are we in hy hypnosis or something? One. Two. Three. Now, wake up, wake up. Is that a raven eye? What was that? You can rest now, Mr. Devitt. That'll be enough for today. Are these sessions really necessary? I'm confident that this is the best course of treatment for your symptoms. Now, did you ever see him again? I saw it. What did you see? You can, can you describe it? I struggled to find adequate words. It looked like an eye. Oh, I had to choose. These dialogue options, I did not remember this. Um, it looked like an eye. Let's be, let's be honest. It was like an eye, perfectly rounded and dark, deep and empty, accompanied by the most horrifying, painful screams I have ever heard. Inside a complete darkness where an evil dwells deep below. A forgotten fear for human reasoning, but undoubtedly, undoubtedly still rests deep down inside our being. In my case, that fear has already awoken. I can understand why you are disturbed, Mr. Devitt. With your permission, I would like to consult on your case with a college of mine. A man I have known for many years who is more versed in modern psychological practices. I think his knowledge and experience will be very helpful in enabling us to understand your condition. If you think it will help, doctor, I'll leave it to your hands. 
the agony grows increasingly unbearable. And if you believe this man can help, then I will come when I welcome his aid. Thank you, Dr. Wakefield. I bid you good evening. Okay, so we're visiting the therapy. Remember, guys, this is the 80s, 90s or something, right? So, yeah, it's not like modern medicine, okay? Psychology was a very, uh, like, early science back then. Uh, Anthony, my friend, what really happened to you? How could you have left, like, let your wife Anna die so awfully? These doubts consumed my soul. I hardly remember the time we spent together as, as schoolmates. I confess that beyond your enduring friendship, I can recall little of those years. Is it because like nothing interesting happened or is it because he has memory loss from something that happened? I don't know. It's weird you don't remember, no? Were your words a result of an increasing loss of sanity? In your letter, you wrote that someone awaits me. A warning. To guard me from a genuine danger or merely the ravings of a brilliant mind adult by insanity. Something steers uneasily within my heart. I'll not rest easily again until I go back to that boarding school and find out what secrets may lie within. Farewell, Mr. and Mrs. Beechworth. Rest now in peace. Huh? So are we gonna go back to the school? Is he going through the same thing Anthony went? He's like... Already like isolating himself or like being... We have arrived. Episode 2 Memories. Okay, here we are, guys. Let's go. It's a mailbox, no? An all quite damaged mailbox. Oh, let's open it. There's a postcard inside the mailbox. Just take all the people's mails, guys. There you go. Uh, dear Matthew, he has been several months and I still have here no news from you. My brothers insist that you have abandoned me, but I am sure I'm sure you remain true. I know that you will never do that to me, for I know your heart and the honesty of your eyes. I got this address from a hospital in London and prayed pray that it reaches you safely. If that's the case, I want you to know that I will I will always wait waiting for you. Forever yours, Juliet Holloway. Ooh. It's the second time we hear that name, no? Yeah, postcard. So this guy is in here. What happened to him? Nice trace. The angel Gabriel, the school's emblem. I remember it being very pristine, but it looks neglected and dirty now. Huh? A stone eagle lies on the floor. It appears to have broken off of the fountain. Okay, stone ornament. Okay, we just started and we have two items already. <laughs> let's go inside. Ah, let's check outside first, though. No? What is that? Is the lights, no? Oh. Well, it's locked from the other side. Someone is shoveling. A lot good coffin, badly finished. It seems that whoever made it made it was a bit rushed to finish. Oh no. This guys, digging grapes. Good evening. I hope you're right and this turned out to be indeed a good evening. My name is David. I did not know there was a graveyard here. My pleasure, Mr. David. I am Frank Baldwin. Do not ask me why, but mostly not a specifically ordered to bury the corpses here. Uh uh, the order to bury corpses here? Why? I do not understand. Um, what is to understand, Mr. David? God has forsaken this place. Ah, don't you know? Here we take care of patients. I'm an old alumnus. I used to attend a school. 
Ah, let's keep talking to this guy. It has been a long time since this is not a boarding school anymore. The building is now used as a nursing home, run by a nuns. A former student, huh? I never heard anybody in the village speak fondly of this school. They say they closed overnight, though nobody knows what. Not a lot was known about it. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you with your work. Have a nice evening, alumnus David. Okay, so the school suddenly closed. Small group of graves has been haphazardly arranged. I like the adjectives this game uses, no? What is that? Oh, there's a bitch here. A piece of old fishing net. Let's grab that. So we have a net. Many years of drift have perfectly smoothed this flotsam into a small log. Oh, look. Oh, boy. Four items already. I'm just gonna combine random things. Will it be useful to tie up the net to the stick? Why not? <laughs> the Lost Pilgrim, a sea stack older students uh, at the school used to climb. Somewhere up there are my initials. Nice. We haven't even entered the main building and we have four items already. Damn. Let's go to the main door. I like the hat. Hello? Is that none? Pardon. Excuse me, sister. Good evening, sister. Good evening. I'm Mother Elizabeth. What brings you here, Mr. David? I'm a former student of this boarding school. As you can see, Mr. David, this stopped being an academic institution a long, a, a long time ago and is now exclusively dedicated to prayer and the well-being of the patients under our care. I see. Uh, even so, I may please speak to... Mr. David, I'm afraid that we are too busy to start wasting time talking about past issues. In addition, there is little to say. We sisters arrived after the boarding school had closed down. Everybody but most ignored, of course. Most ignore? Exactly. But you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mr. Debit? Uh, it'll be good for me to appreciate the passage of time. This place will help me remember. I prefer not to talk about. How much should we reveal to her, you know? I, I, let's, let's go with something ambiguous. It's uh, visiting an old place, you know? I guess that uh, it will be a good time, a good idea to visit this place again and perceive the passage of time. Perceive the passage of time? What are you talking about? Um, I'm not going to say anything yet. To be honest, I prefer not to talk about it. I couldn't tell you why this place is so important for me, but it is. A lot. Well, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. David. I'll allow you to stay around here. I hope I, I won't regret my decision. Don't worry, mother. Thank you. Nice. Uh, oh, take a mat. Coat off. These are the patients. Do it! Among the baggages, I can see a packet of letters bound by twine. I'll ask you not to touch my belongings, please. You are not aware who you are talking to. I'm sorry. Doctor. I'm sorry, I'm not a doctor. Pay him no mind. He has been delirious for some days. I'm Miss Mary Vinch, and this is my brother, Matthew. Juliet, why have you left me? Why don't you answer my letters? <laughs> my letters. Oh, so the letter we got at the mailbox was from Juliet. Sending it to this guy, to Matthew, right? And then he's sending her letters back. But this woman, no, well, this is his sister, I think, is uh, keeping the letters. Wow. You see, the poor man is still obsessed with his fiance. He won't accept that she left him months ago. My poor Matthew. 
I'm very sorry, Miss Vinch. I hope it recovers. Thank you. Hmm. A magazine entitled Weird Tales. Oh! This is a real magazine. This is where Lovecraft and other authors publish their stories at, at first. Isn't that nice? That's an easter egg. That's cool. Are you alright, madam? Uh, there was a rhythm sound, like a breathing. What do you mean? It was last night. I felt an increasing pressure on my temples. Something dry and rough, like tree bark, brush against my leg, and I saw something on the wall, like a growing shadow. I lit the lamp, but there was nothing. I'm sure it was just a nightmare, that, madam. Wait, should we use the log on here? On no. He's quite pale. He's uh, quite a pale job boy. He's asleep. PT, please, someone, PT. I'm sorry, you cannot be here. Is there some way uh, I can help? Don't worry about it, sir. The Lord looks after each and every one of our patients. He'll provide you with all the help you need. If you wish, you can pray there, next to the statue of Our Lady. Don't you think she's beautiful? The Virgin listens to those in need. Dalva? This statue? A gloomy study of the Virgin Mary makes this place even more mournful, if that is possible. <laughs> Damn. Uh, a picture of the Virgin Mary gassing at you, supposedly to portray a sympathy and compassion for you. Supposedly. However, she seems to look more pain and sorrowful here. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, man, you're dead. I unlocked the door, so this is from the back door. Huh? Okay, cool. What about this door? This is open too. Oh, so this is where they pray, I guess. Like a library. I remember that we used to keep uh, here some textbooks. Now there is a music box. Joink? We took a music box. Okay, oh, there's a note here, no? Dear brother, I have received your letter and I'll try to write you more frequently. I hope you are studying a lot and you feel comfortable here. We miss you a lot. When are you coming back? Father is in bed with fever, and I do not feel very well, but I am on medication. Today is my birthday, and I'm feeling blue. It is a quiet and boring Sunday at the village. Mom is going to cook a lemon cake uh, like those grandma used to make. I wish we could eat it together. Right back soon. I'm looking forward to knowing how you're doing. What are you learning? How is Scotland? And so on. A big hug. I think about you a lot, your dear sister. Aww. Bro, they're keeping all the letters here. They don't let them send uh, correspondence out. January fifteenth, eighteen seventy-six. This is an old, an old, an old text, no? Seventy-six. Uh, is this when uh, David was back at school? I'm not sure. Father Ernest, was that the princess of Adetra? Father Ernest seemed initially troubled today. Several times he paused abruptly in the middle of a lecture for no reason, even during his favorite class, Theology. January 18th. Today, Father Ernest was very irritable. Collins made a comment and was expelled from class for, for it. And even David was admonished just for reading a philosophy book. That's us. I hope er uh, Father Ernest doesn't turn his ire towards me. My father will be disappointed if I if I fail to get good marks. January 21st. It was very disconcerting. Explore the It was very disconcerting to see Father Ernest entering class so pale and sweaty. In the middle of his lecture, he stumbled days and had to sit. Why? Father Eugene taught our theology class today, even though he doesn't know the subject matter as well as Father Ernest. When we asked him what happened to Father Ernest, Eugene told us that he had taken ill. What worries me is that now Father Eugene is also starting to look unwell. What is going on? February 20th. It's been a month 
since we last saw Father Ernest. We're told that he's still sick, but if he's so ill, then why hasn't a physician come to treat him? My studies are flagging, but I have taken it upon myself to read on my own. I hope this helps as I must succeed in spite of the problems happening around us. February 23rd. It was announced this morning that the school is too close. None of us know why and we cannot get a straight answer from the faculty. They each dodge the question and I am starting to think they may not know the answer themselves. Their anxiety is palpable, though they try to hide it behind a calm face. But what about Father Ernest? I hear he alone is to remain after we vacate the premises. It's a picture on the diary. It is the photograph of my graduating class. I think I'm the one left, third left, no? With the hairstyle. I see myself, Father Ernest and Anthony. I do not remember the names of the others. One face has been completely scratched out. Hold up. Who was that person? There is an odd sentence written on the board. What is that noise? What is that noise? Is that the chalk? In death there is hope. In death there is life. One must seek its true nature to understand the nothing. It looks like he's been there for years, as the chalk has faded in some places. Alpha? Okay, I don't see any puzzle elements yet. Let's go back to the main hall. We have to help the patient somehow. How can I distract her? Some is not only medical equipment, nothing of interest. Nothing there. Well, let's go back here. I guess she's not gonna let us go upstairs, no? Oh, we can. Never mind. What about this door? So this Monsignor. Who's there, David? Those rooms are what did you say? You are not allowed to get in there. Let's go to the second floor. A dusty old tapestry of the Virgin Mary with baby Jesus in her arms. Uh -huh. One of the humble beds where the numb slip. A syringe next to a flask with a label that reads morphine. Wow. Two guys go hard here, no? All mirror that hardly reflects. One of the upper shelves of the antique cupboard, a well-worn Bible and rosary beads gather dust. Good evening, sister. Sister? All this suffering, all these tears, all our prayers and answered. What? What do you mean, sister? All these years entrusted to the Lord. Pray, looking for a sign or something that can give me strength. Every day I hear them cry, pray, scream, and die. And what for? Where are you, Lord? Why don't you answer me? Lord works in mysterious ways. Maybe there is no Lord. Uh, yeah. Maybe there is no Lord, sister. Oh, sh what should we do then? What is our purpose for living? I can't go on, not like this. Excuse me, sir. It jumps out of the window. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, music box? No? Put the log in her butt, maybe she likes that. No, it's, it's good. I'm kidding, guys. All right, we need that morphine, but I guess we have to distract her or something. I don't know. We're run out and fit the tapestry of Jesus Christ. Oh. Another tapestry door. I remember from my school days, the student dorm dormitory was here. Can we remove that? Oops. This wooden stick is not sharp enough to cut the tapestry. It's not sharp enough. I could damage the wooden stick. With a stone. So we need to like sharp the log. 
second car. It's, it's a bathroom. Towels. Shower is all rusty and poorly maintained. A broken mirror. This is a protruding piece. Oh, maybe we can break with this mirror. What is there? There's something there, no? There's a pile in the shower hole with something shining under the grating. I cannot see it properly. With a net? Can I pick that out with the net or something? For a moment. Let's go back. Maybe let's try this here. Is that sharp enough? The mirror chunk is sharp but too weak to cut the tapestry. It may break. Maybe we mix this and this? The mirror is too thick to... Bro, every time I try something, there's a new excuse. It's not sharp enough. It's too fragile. You cannot combine it. Yeah. Uh, the mirror is too thick to pin in the good, but it also seems fragile. I could break it uh, if I force it. If I force it. I'll do it then. Hmm. Uh, we're on the right uh, path, but not quite there yet, no? Like, can I give this letter to this guy? Mr. Vinch, I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it with me if you will be so kind. As you can see, my brother is too weak for to read it. Well, Matthew, let's see who has written to you. Oh, it's a letter from our mother. It's not! Dear Matthew, I hope you are recovering. I wish that your beloved sister and you come back home soon. Wow. Miss Vinch is making up the letter's contents. This stick is too thick to use it for winding the music box. I only something thinner. Ooh. I don't think that breaking the music box serves any purpose. Okay, okay, so we have to play music box with something, no? Okay. Oh, we can talk to her, maybe. Maybe we'll get something. Do you take your patience here? Of course, Mr. Debbie, we tend to both the physical and spiritual needs of those in your care. Did, can I talk to Monsignor? I'm afraid that's impossible. Monsignor has left strict instructions that he not be disturbed. Not even by any of the sisters. Mr. Baldwin. Who is Mr. Baldwin? Monsignor instructed me to take uh, him on as a caretaker. Many of the sisters find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well and complains little. Wait, it's all something like, what well, there's been three deaths lately, no? Mother Elizabeth, Mr. Baldwin, told me that lately a lot of patients are dying. What is happening? Sadly, the Lord is taking many of these unfortunate souls. Did you say that most of you know relatively here when this venue still was a boarding school? Indeed, he still was priest and professor before he became Monsignor and started to leave this place. Thank you, Mother. I'll leave you with your duties. Oh, I took a letter. Oh! My letters! All oh, the letters I wrote to dear Juliet. You never post them. But why, Mary? <coughs> why, could, why would you do such a thing? How could you be so cruel? I had to do it, Matthew. You refuse to see how an appropriate match she is for you. Her only interest is marrying someone of your status, of her family's status. It was for your sake I did this. I did to protect it. I did to protect you from that woman's treachery. No, you only thought about yourself, of your vanity. I can bear, I can bear to look up to upon you anymore, Mary. Leave me be. From this day forth, you are no sister of mine. You dare punish me? 
I who have stayed by your side all through your illness. Very well, Matthew, you will have your way. I will leave you and then you will see how very alone you are. Farewell, brother. Bye bye. Thanks to the Lord that you have come to reveal my sister's cruelty. Sir, please take this coin as a token of my appreciation. It is my lucky coin, though. I hope it serves you better than it has myself. Oh, we have a coin. Can we sharpen the mirror with this? Or the log? A coin. Music box to play? Okay. Oh, yeah. If maybe we have to play it close up to the patients. Please help! <laughs> Wait. Maybe it's for the other sister upstairs. The one that's like on the window. I'm not sure. And it's like a melody, no? So maybe that will... Where did we find this music box, by the way? I forgot. Oh, we surely have to do something with that, no? Alright, let's try here. Oh, something's happening. Oh, what a beautiful melody. It reminds me of my youth. When I was bright, vibrant, and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you. For you have given me the sign I was looking for. Oh, there you go. Bye. Oh. A lot of dry leaves have accumulated in a hole of this old rusty pipe. They are blocking the water stream. Uh, shall, can we unlock that with the lock, maybe? I think that will be useless. Do you think so? Maybe the net? Oh! I cannot place the net in here. The pipe is full of dried leaves. Alright, so what if there, there's something on the on the shower, right? What if it goes to the hole and then we catch it with the net here? But before we do that, we have to remove the leaves. Okay, so just with your hand. We don't really need any items. Now that the leaves are not there, can we put the net? I could cut myself with the edge of the pipe. Come on, bro. It's not. Really? The good is too soft to them burn the sharp edges of the pipe. Oh, with the stone. Boom, boom. I'll blunt the sharp edges of the pipe. Now I need to not... Uh, now I need not fear being cut. Nice, 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 nice. There you go. We use the two items. Then they should catch anything coming down the pipe. There you go. Progress! Progress. Can we take the morphine as well? Well. Maybe for the patients, man. They're, they're suffering! They're in pain! Alright, so how do we take the item from here? I can already open the tab with no risk of losing the shiny object. Oh, so I didn't try this before. So it will not let you open the shower because that item will be lost. But now that we put the net, we can open it, no? There you go. Alright, let's go to the net. And shake it out. Nice. Maybe that's an item that help us sharpen the log or something for the mirror or something. I don't know. The net has caught the shiny object. What is it? A teardrop. Nope. Nope. Can we cut the tapestry with this? Here it doesn't work to cut the tapestry. Oh, but then the teardrops on the. But she was saying that you should look to the stat, you know. I placed the glass tear in a hollow of the virgin's cheek. It seems that I fixed perfectly. <gasps> Please, so I'm pity. I already told you, I cannot be here. But 
Don't worry about it, sir. The Virgin listens to those in need. Look! In the eyes of a fervent devotee, it could look like a real tear. If only I could make it shine. Oh, the mirror. <gasps> the statue is crying! That's clever, no? With the sunlight that's coming through the window will reflect with the mirror onto the teardrop. Oh my lord! What does it mean? What I have done? What have we done? It's a sign from the Lord. Oh, there you go. I was lucky there. That could have taken me a long time. But right, now we, talk, we can talk. You must help me. What can I do? What's wrong with you? There is little time. I told him about my pain. I described the unbearable and endless pain. They don't listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they are praying for me, but it does not cure my ailment. But sir, I... I know! But I beseech you. You'll be saving me from horrible torture. I'll be eternally indebted to you. I will, however difficult this will be, this will be for me. I understand. Your request is terribly hard for me. I guess I could find the courage to help you. I understand the magnitude of what I'm asking. God bless you, sir. I do not know. How can I show my gratitude? What I need you to do this without the nuns noticing. To try to get an amount of morphine enough. So I can be embraced by the deepest of dreams. And in that way, stop the rhythm of my heart. Euthanasia. Okay. So we need to get the morphine syringe. I guess you could not take it until now. I hope the nun doesn't get back. Oh, she's here. She's spraying. Okay, we take it, we take it. Are you ready to pray? For what you have done. People in pain and you're just telling them to pray. Bruh. Oh. What the hell? Where did this person go? There's a letter here. There is a note on the bed. Read it. The oh, hell? Uh that is messed up, no? Oh, I'm not doing anything. Noises coming from inside the coffin? What the hell? They burn people alive? What in heaven? Open that she mate. I can open the coffin with my own hands. The lid is nailed. Uh log? The lock is too soft. Even to use it as a lever and open the lock coffin. Uh, coin? It's too thick. Bro. Too thick, too... The grave recently dug. What is this guy, by the way? Oh, maybe we need the shovel. Hello? Is this a dead person? Or clothes, just clothes, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, a nun's habit and walking stick. There is uh, these, no doubt, belong to the nun I spoke to by the window. What the hell? She's taking a naked bath. But oh, where did she go? The hell? Can I take the stick? Weird. Very weird. Alright, how do we open the coffin now? Should we talk to... Let's go to the entrance. Oh, there he is. Oh, I need that. I need the hammer. 
Uh, actually, uh, tell me about Monsignor. I cannot rightly say. After all these years, I have never seen the man. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't exist. Mother Elizabeth told me that Monsignor specifically requested her to hire you by ledger. I'm flattered my reputation precedes me, but I still cannot tell you anything more about the man. Excuse the interruption. Back to work. Have a nice evening. I'll look news debit. Okay, how do we take that thing? Looks like his toolbox. I wonder if there is something useful in it. I may be able to take a look if I keep him distracted. Please don't touch my tools. Distracted. Just put some morphine on it. <laughs> yeah, I always distract this guy. Oh, we can talk. We have more dialogue options. Maybe he will look away in some moment. Tell me about Mother Elizabeth. She's pretty strict. I can tell you that much, Mister David. Do not think she likes me very much either. Tell me about this place. Well, the construction of this building was ordered by an Episcopal Bishop of Aberdeen in 1805. Tell me about Aberdeen. Aberdeen. It was the place where I was born and raised. One of the biggest cities in Scotland. If you look there towards Marmy, he's looking away. Oh, you seem to be distracted, Mr. Debit. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. He's like looking away when he says that, no? We have to click it fast. Click it, take it. Oh, we took it, we took it. Two. Oh, yeah, we took it. Bye bye. Joink? Nice. Coming right, for this guy now. There you go. <laughs> Do you still need the morphine? Oh, the darkness of his eye. His body is petrified. He has look. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. Oh my God! But what has happened? It's your fault. Mother Elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses. Give me the morphine. Uh, oh, now she's not guarding the door anymore, no? This is our chance. This is faster, I think. This guy's not here anymore. Can we open this now? Right, ornate key. <gasps> oh, it's open. Wait, what's in here? Oh, isn't that me? This is a flashback from our school days. Also, that guy in the coffin also saw the black guy, the same that we saw on the therapist. Don't look into his eyes. This is the classroom, no? Like the one we saw in the picture, no? Because the deepest darkness dwells in his eyes. Come in, my son. Do you think you could hide these books from me? Yeah, because they gave us a... We were reading philosophy books, right? So They're, they're just classic philosophy books, Father. Plato and Aristotle. Silence! Instruments of falsehood, you mean. Fallacies coming from the snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. It is Latin, malum in se, evil in itself. A strange eye-shaped symbol. Oh, shit. Is Windows cracking? Eye of the bird.
Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest. Ernest, it's been many years since I last heard that name. Since... Oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Please, entreaties, petitions, rain, torment, exemption. How times bring us his misfortune and pain? Father Ernest, I, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and disciplines. A closer son, come pray next to me. The makeshift altar is coated in a dense layer of wax. The candles having almost burned out, only barely illuminate the room. Uh, a creepy image of Christ crucified, and explicitly he has a dark cloth covering his head. Uh -huh. He has a large burn covering his eyes. He's completely blind. Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness, and paleness, I can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like, like in another world. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his voice. The sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal? Honestly? <laughs> the sharp sword. Yes, yes, that's it, my son. The Lord with his sharp sword transmitted his wisdom, his power, and his punishment. And now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his holy path. Wait. Are these... is this a test or something? <laughs> Am I supposed to choose correctly or... The wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penance? The wise path. Okay, I'm gonna choose the penance. The blessed penance. No! No, no! Your soul lives embraced by the darkness. And now my soul, tell the Lord who are you? The Faceless Pilgrim, the Gate Guard, or the Lost Seaman? I don't know, man. What is this What is this questionnaire? The Gate Guard, the Lost Seaman, the Faceless... I'm, I'm lost. I can tell you that much. The Lost Seaman. I mean, it could be the Pilgrim, too, because I was a old student, no? Yes, yes, that is it, my son. We live lost in an endless ocean of sin and blame. Now leave me alone, I have to purify my soul. How am I supposed to know the answers for those... Uh, ...questions? An old razor blade stained with blood. Oh, fuck. Dear God in heaven, I feel for you. Your light is in my eyes. I'll burn them for you. So this is from him. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself in you. Your eyes are in my soul. I'll burn it for you. Dear God in heaven, I fear myself in you. Your sword is in my hands. I'll burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I hate myself. My blame is in your heart. I'll burn myself for you. What the fuck? The eye calls me. I know you're there. You didn't hear me. Get out of my room. Okay, 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 okay. Despite being blind, he preserves good hearing. I must be more careful when moving. Oh. So what do we have to do? Maybe we have to check something when he's not close? <laughs> Balls are completely covered with crosses. A mentally ill act. It's like... Go slowly, you know? And rich... 
Okay. Okay. Question, is there something we have to do there mandatory or we can go back and do something else with the eraser now? Oh, with the eraser we can break the tapestry. Okay, 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 okay. Or we can maybe like mix it with the log? I'm using the golden stump as a handle. I can use this to cut. There you go, there you go. Cutting tool. Now we sharpen the the, the log. And we can use it this here. Nice, 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 nice. So let's see what's in here. You say he was this was the old dormitory, no? Where they dormitory? Another flashback. And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah David, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We have been looking for you. Well, uh, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting. But I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? My dear friends, it is Professor Glynn. Do you mean Father Ernest? Certainly. No doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleges, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lunch behind the small door of the classroom? I have believed convenient to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know, at 12 o'clock you will find the door open and I'll be inside the lunch. That is it, my dear, my dearest colleges. Videt Nekisiot. Videt Nekisiot. Okay. So, is that like behind the blackboard, like below or something? There is a secret room there. I remember that this, uh, in this furniture, we used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it is, it's empty. But oh, we need a key for that, no? We'll start complete this array. I could probably punch through it if I try it. Do it! Show it. Remember that this is the bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. Oh, bro. Bro taking a nap. Good night. Bye bye. What the hell? Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. Is this at least in Wonderland? The oh, fuck? When going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mr. Mrs. Snake, who were having a heated argument. Oh. oh, that's not blood. Mr. Rabbit Cures asked them, Dearest, why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? Do I want to know? Mr. Wolf answered politely, What we are trying to decide here is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Oh no, poor rabbit. Am I the rabbit? Is Anthony the rabbit? Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, but I don't want to be eaten. I want to live. Where are we going? What the hell? To which Miss Snake answered smiling. That seemed possible to happen, Mr. Rabbit. Since we I, we all, but you and us, are going to die sooner or later, don't you think so? Mr. Vulture added, Miss Snake is right, we should stick to the issue at hand. It is getting late, and as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who do you suggest as the one to eat you? After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why not organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing uh, will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle. And I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. What do you think? Smart. Because Rabbit is the faster. Fastest. There's a... 
Who are these silhouettes? The three predators agreed that it was fair. So they started the race and they quickly disappeared. And the ride went the other way around. The opposite way. <laughs> like, peace! Oh, shit. Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. Oof. Mr. Rabbit was far away from there and he finally felt safe, happy and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang. The earth shook. Fright and birds flew. And everything went dark. The end. The end. Oh! Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. No! Stop following me! An impossible love. There is something I kept to myself for a long time. And the thing is that I love you. I have always loved you. Since the first time I saw you, since the first time I felt your frozen hands. Each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty, dead eyes. God, look! I miss your rough hair, your grey skin, your stench. But our love is kind of be. It is an impossible love. What is going on, guys? The end. The rabbit story now this what this guy's dreaming about. <laughs> Not again. How long I've been sleeping? What was all that about? In the nightmare, I found a place. A place in my memories. There's the mirror. Okay, let's go check. This song is so good, no? So that was at the... Um, that was over here, no? This music is so good for like anticipation, like what's gonna happen? It's building up so good. Is it over here? Yeah, because we're hearing planks as well, no? Oh, now we can check this. In my disturbing nightmare, I was brought to this spot. It is the trapdoor I saw in my nightmare. From here sprouts a horrible stench. There is something down there. Who? Did you see? Did you see? It was there. That's in front of me. That thing. It was screaming. <coughs> I'm sorry, reading with that voice is so bad for my throat, holy shit. What was screaming? Who are these people? Are these patients as well? The stretchers used to carry the corpses here. Who is behind all this? He shakes uncontrollably, his body racked with pain. And there is only one way to end his suffering. Oh, morphine time. Rest in peace. Finally. Oh, there you go. Merciful. He must have been dead at least a week, still bearing an expression of horror. <sighs> the decayed corpse of a young woman. It seems as if she had been devoured by an animal. Oh, what? Was splattered with dried blood. And the son of the flies. Another. This is the meeting we were talking before. Punctual, as always, David. Now that all remains is to introduce our guest. You may come in now, Professor. Father Ernest. Do not worry, my friend. I invite him to join us this evening. The professor generally shares our curiosity. And who better to complete our group than one of the most renowned theologists? 
Moreover, we mustn't ban those who are willing to explore beyond the veil. Hmm? The moment we have long awaited has now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the door be open and then may we finally see what lies beyond. This is a reference to, this is why the game is called The Last Door. Okay. Now I ask you that you close your eyes, you'll feel a momentary prick as I inject you with the serum. Bro, you guys are just doing drags and tripping. Oh. Oh. Even after all these years, I have not for- Oh, wait, what voice was for this guy? Even after all these years, I have not forgotten your voice. You are the fourth witness. I remember. I remember now what happened. What is what we saw? The eye of the bear. Malum in sir. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me. You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened that which should not be opened. In doing so, we shore the veil that separated our world from his. In seeking vision, we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird. It remembers us. It looks for us. It calls us from his dark nest. From his abominable lair. All these years, I have t attempted to return to it, but I have no strength left. These poor wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the sight to return. Not one of them has. Only as the four witnesses. Who are the other two? Who are they? <coughs> they disappear as you did. I haven't heard from any of you. But I was seized by curiosity. It absconded with you, with my faith, and deprived me of sanity. Oh Lord, forgive me for I have sinned. Nothing remains. All that is left is surrender. Surrender to him. Gravely have we sinned, and now our only absolution is to burn. To burn in the flames! Oh, shit. Madam. In so. Whoa Bro You smacked me Oh is he putting me in the coffin He's putting me inside a coffin guys Oh no Oh no He's nailing it. Uh-oh. Wait, do we have anything to open the, the coin, maybe? I don't know. <coughs> Is it? Yeah, he's putting the like, dirt on top. No? It's like... Is Bernard boring at me? I get out. Punch it. Damn it. Punch that shit. The adventure continues in episode three. Okay. Nice. A secret from the past. Complete the second chapter. Okay. That was the story is getting so interesting. Not that ending with the whole reveal of uh, the students and the. <clears throat> the ritual and seeing the eye and now the eye is looking for them Definitely some inspiration from Lovecraft books stories there um, There's a story called the what is it called the hunter of the night could it be? <clears throat> the hunter of the dark that one That one is one of my favorite Lovecraft stories and this thing has some elements some common uh, elements for from it for sure. 
yeah that was the last door episode one and two tomorrow i will do three and four and we'll complete the game and then i also will play the last door two the second game which i believe also has four chapters so let's do that i think it is good length and good for today i hope you guys are good for today and i wish you a very good night sleep well if you don't don't have nightmares <laughs>